first night of the trip. It's my first cruise ship and I'm really excited. Everyone's very happy and kind here. You see lots of smiles. Look at the sunset. It's beautiful. I'm on the 8th deck, which allowed me to check in about 11.30. I think I arrived around noon. So there's lots of shopping and food. There's a pub behind me. I'm going to keep exploring a little bit because almost no one is on the boat yet. And ship, boat. Anyway, no one's here. It's awesome. <laughs> Come on. I'm so happy that I boarded early. The weather's not really cooperating, but you can see Singapore in the background, it's beautiful. And there is no one out right now. I'm gonna try to start going healthy tomorrow. Well, healthier, I'm going to start working out. So I assume that this is my jogging path for tomorrow. Okay, the safety drill is done and the Mariner of the Seas is off. We are headed to Malaysia, which we should arrive there in the morning if, if I'm not mistaken. I have some very yummy wine and am looking forward to a night of dinner at Chops Grill. Either book a suite or a balcony cabin. The balcony cabins are great and what I have learned is that when you book it on what some people call the hump, which is this area, you'll see I can see to the front of the ship here. If I turn around I only have a bit here. According to my mom, who is an avid sailor, she says that it also is the spot on the ship where you have the least amount of rocking, um, which makes a whole lot of sense. So thank you mom for that advice. Awesome room. Cabin. Dang it, I keep doing that. I've just ordered here at Chops Grill and I'm really excited. The staff is being really sweet. They know I'm on my own. The restaurant itself is very beautiful inside. They have really chosen to light it quite soft. They have stained glass and beautiful lamps and chandeliers around. It's very, very pretty in here. So I've ordered a combination of mostly nice but a little naughty. I have a goat cheese salad coming then scallops and they say jumbo scallops so i am just cuckoo for scallops and super excited about that a petite six ounce filet mignon and then we're pairing things so far with a shiraz that's very nice cheers to the team here at chops grill so dinner is done and i am sitting for a couple of drinks at boleros they have an amazing tequilas and mezcals list they had a pretty good selection of beer as well. And there's some live music going on. It was Huey Lewis in the news before I started this. And it was modern uh, before that. So it seems like a little bit of everything. This may be silly, but it's my favorite tip. Definitely book the Wi-Fi when you jump on board. It's really inexpensive. I think right now it's $12.95 per day for one device. And my secret is, just book for the one device. You can use as many devices as you'd like, just one at a time. So I have uploaded videos to YouTube while I was here on my laptop, and I've Instagrammed, and I've been all over Facebook. Book the Wi-Fi, but the one device package, because who wouldn't want to share all of this?
you have an early morning departure, my last and final tip is to actually wake up early, settle any bills you have, enjoy the morning and watching the captain pull you into port. And if you do that, you're able to get off the ship and through customs really quickly. We pulled into port, I think at 8 a.m. I was off the ship by 8.20-ish, more or less. And the queue was just, there was no queue. But as I was leaving, I started to look behind me and it was starting to, uh, to pile up. Definitely get off the ship quickly. You will be so much happier because the queues just don't exist when you get off first. Bye Royal Caribbean.